Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a, the detent from a simple hydraulic valve. Really any hydraulic valve with a high detent. With a detent. This one right here has the detent in it. Actually, never mind. This one here has a detent in it. You can move the lever back like this, just normally. And when you push it forward, the detent locks it into place. Until this, and then it kicks back into neutral. And sometimes you don't want that, sometimes you do. Um, my particular application for making the hydraulic valves to control the um, drive system of my tank here, link of that in the description, I don't want that detent. That's not good for what, what I'm doing because I, want, I need to be able to smoothly move it back and forth. This valve, I've removed the detent from, and as you can see, it moves smoothly back and forth, just like I need. Um, basically, how you do this is this is a diagram of those exact valves there. And the detent consists of what holds it, actually holds it in place, consists of these four small bearings. Sometimes you'll see three there, three or four usually. This spring and this bigger bearing. And what I did was just take those out to, make, to remove that detent. And I'll show you how I do, did that. I'm going to do that with this one right now. So what you do is you take off, take off this back part. Okay, so taking off this back cover now. Um, so up in here, how did I, how did I do this? I think I'm trying to remember what I did, but all right, yeah, that's what it was. So I was able to take that collar off, and the bearing sprung out here. That was this spring. And then this bearing, it were in there like that, and when I released the compression, it sprung out. So those are out, as well as these four smaller ones around here. Just like that. Now those are all out. I can put this collar back on I think, yep. And then put this, this back on like that. And now there's no detent in there. Just screw these um, bolts back in there. All right, so now I have this back cover on there nice and tight, just like it was before. And all I've done is remove those four small bearings, the spring and the bigger bearing. Now, it moves back like it did before, and forward, nice and smoothly both ways. It's quite simple. If you have to remove the detent on any really, on any hydraulic valve you have.